Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful colorful rainbow ring. It might be considered a hippie ring as well or a hitrol ring, whatever you call it. I'm showing it really easy step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. <laughs> If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I post matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done, like I have earrings and a bracelet matching this ring and you could be able to make beautiful set if you hit the bell and you could also like, share and comment, you, you help me so much with this. If you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, you, you could share them on my Facebook and Instagram page that I have below this video and uh, down there in description you will find a short clip of this video on my second channel and if you want to see it in just three minutes and decide whether you feel like making it or not just see the link down there and you might want to decide to subscribe for my second channel as well and down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are 8 colors of 11 o seed beads and you could use 10 o seed beads if you want. Here I use monofilm and that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters and you could use other beading thread of your choice. And here I use size 10 beading needle scissors and I use pliers. They are not obligatory, I use them only to go through the difficult beads. And now guys, I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and what I'm going to pick up for a start, 12 black beads. Okay, and these are my 12 beads and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop going twice through the loop I made and I pull and then I make one more knot okay and now I have this and in my next step I'm going here through some beads in this direction okay guys now I have this and I'm going to start adding more beads, okay? I take three yellow beads and one black bead. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I slide it down. Okay, now I move this bead in this direction and I skip it and I go through these three yellow beads and through the following black that's on my way, okay? And I pull. Now I have this, then I'm going to take the next color that's on my way and this is light green color and again a black one, slide it down, skip this black one here and go through this three bead and through the following black one, okay. Then the next a slightly darker color. I want this slight transition between the colors. I like it so much. And again the same thing. Next color. And now pay attention, because I want slight transition, I will again go back to the yellow in this direction. Okay, I will take three of the middle green color, one black, slide it down as well, and go here. Light green again.
ਇਹਨੂੰ ਕੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ and you see guys the yellow is the middle color between my greenish scale and my orange red scale that is why it repeats here and here and what i'm going to do next is take orange beads and a black one and i slide it down then i go again through these orange beads and through the following black And don't worry that it bends and moves in those directions. I'll fix it later. Okay, three red beads. One black bead. Sliding those down. Going through the reds like I did before so many times. Okay, guys, and now it comes the darkest color which is this dark red and then again a black one like i did before okay and i want to go with slight transition to the yellow that is why i'm picking up again these red beads And in order to reach my yellow with slight transition, I'm going to pick up again orange beads. Okay. And this will be the last beads from this row of my work. Okay, guys, now I have this. And in my next step, what I'm doing is that I go through all of those beads in this direction and I want to exit through one of the black beads okay I'm exiting through one of my black beads and in my next step I'm going to take two black beads like this and go in the following black Okay, now I have this, then I'm going to repeat it, two blacks, and go in the following black. You see what happens? There is an edge of black beads that will make all of those rows stay in a better shape. Okay, and I have this. And now guys, I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last two beads from this row. And when I pull, you see how I have a slight bend to it. And I like this bend, but if you don't like it, you could use 10 or seed beads at the edge and I'm sure there will be almost no band. But especially for a ring, I like this band here. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is go in this direction. And I could reinforce this whole row if I want to. Okay. Now I'm exiting here after this dark red one bit away from from it okay here and what i want to pick up are three red uh, black beads three yellows and three more black beads okay this is what i have on my needle and as i'm exiting from this bit here if you don't see my thread here it is and I'm going three beads here in this direction. And when I pull, I have this. Okay, I'm starting to form my ring band. OK, 
okay then in my next step I'm going through these three beads and in order to form a square here I'm going to take one black bead more to form an angle and I go here then another black and I go here through all of those beads if you can do this in one movement can they then I go through these four in this direction through those three yellows as well like this and then what I do is that I pick up three black beads three light green and three more black beads okay this is what I have and as I'm exiting here out of this yellow I go back in circle through these three beads in this direction okay then I go with my thread here before this black bead and then in this direction okay now this is what I have and I'm going to take one black forming an angle one more black forming again an angle and I go through these four beads in this direction okay now I go here back through these same yellow beads and this loop should be from this side okay and I pull now I have this then I'm going through all of those beads in this direction through the greens and I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row okay I'm taking three black beads three middle green beads and three black beads okay this is what I have I go back here through this one okay sometimes I use my pliers but I think I could have handled this without pliers but it's easier for me okay now I turn this in this direction because it's easier again take one black bead go here through these three greens forming my angles again and one more black Okay, then through these three green beads and this one is from this side of my bead then this one comes from this side of my bead to the upper side of my bead okay then I go through these three green beads okay and I will continue alterating my colors the way I like it following this pattern and if you forgot how I'm doing those rows just rewind the video and repeat it and when you have ring band that's long enough I will tell you how to finish your beadwork okay guys and when I continue beading this is what I have here I'm exiting out of these three beads and I will go at the opposite side of my ring and I'm going to connect it okay here it is so the darkest red is connected to the darkest green okay now uh, what I do next is that I take three dark beads okay and what I do is that I go through these three uh, beads that are around my green and at the green okay and I pull 
then what I do is that I take three more black beads and I go back here through these three reds okay like this and in my next step guys I'm reinforcing this part here going here from this side of the angle bead the so-called angle bead okay then here through these three beads back again through these three and you could find a place somewhere here at the ring band and decide to make the knot here you could also make the knot at the ring but now I'm showing here at the ring band okay I have here a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made then I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull and after I pull I go through the following seed bead and cut my thread and you could repeat this knot several times when you're ready, go through the next seed bead and then cut your thread. Okay, guys, and my colorful rainbow ring is ready. Okay, guys, and now my, my colorful rainbow ring is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done like i have a bracelet with this pattern and earrings and i'm linking them here at the eye icon to see and uh, you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations and you could also subscribe for my second channel when i post fast clips of all of those videos you could see them in only two three minutes and decide whether you feel like making them or not so you could find this fast link in description and also subscribe for my second channel so down there in description you will find the full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me